Hello everyone. Welcome to AK Competitives. I'm Malesh Koram and in this lecture we are going to discuss the concept of refraction at a parallel slab. Okay, so when the light ray is passing, so we have seen generally when the light is passing from one in one medium to another medium, like at an interface, how the refraction is going to be happening. But now at this uh, video, we are going to discuss if you have a parallel slab, a different medium is intersecting a particular medium. Like in air, if a light ray is moving, if a parallel slab is going to come, then how it is going to be changing. That is what our focus for this particular point now. Okay, for explaining this, I have taken a small animated video here, which I'm going to present in this video. So let's see this. So now I'm going to consider a glass slab in that particular uh, medium which is going to be placed okay now this glass slab is going to be having a thickness t okay the glass slab is having thickness t refractive index is going to be mu for this particular glass slab now a torch light is going to be focusing a light ray onto it and as the light ray is incidenting at a point a you can clearly see that it is uh, take a normal first so it is going to be incidenting at a take a normal and this is going to make an angle i with respect to that normal so if there is no medium it would have continued in a straight line but as the medium is changing it bends towards a normal as glass is going to be denser than a okay denser than a it is going to be just shifting by certain angle now here it continues till b okay so at that refracted angle r now at b again you take a normal now it is going to make refracting angle r at the first a same angle is going to become angle of incident at b okay now when it comes out so it comes out with an emerging angle e and you can see clearly that first ray and final ray are going to be parallel to each other you can use the snell slide at a and b as mu1 to mu2 or mu2 to mu1 like mu2 is glass refractive index mu1 is air refractive index if you take then as you know reciprocal so e is going to be i that means the emerging ray is going to be parallel to the incident ray okay emerging ray is parallel to the incident ray now but instead of going straight it is shifted by certain angle certain distance how much distance it is shifted that is the distance which we are going to call it as lateral shift are you able to understand so it would have continued along the dotted line now but instead of that it is moving at certain other point from b it is going to be starting so this is what called lateral shift the perpendicular distance between them okay so in the uh, lecture based on this concept we are going to discuss how we are going to find this exactly that's it this is the a small video which is trying to explain you what is going to be lateral shift in a regular uh, lecture i'm going to explain you lateral shift and normal shift with a complete clarity in the next coming lecture i hope all of you like this video so please like the video if you like it and uh, share it to others and subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet thank you we meet again in the next lecture